Hi, and welcome to the Open Voice OS presentation. Today I'm going to introduce you to what Open Voice OS is all about. So, what is Open Voice OS? Open Voice OS, or OVOS as we like to call it in short, is a full operating voice assistance stack that's completely free and open source. The OVOS ecosystem consists of open voice packages, services, and multiple frameworks. It also consists of free software released by third parties such as skills and plugins. The OVOS stack can be referenced as a framework or an entire operating system for embedded devices. But before we dive deeper into the two concepts above, let's dive a bit into the history of how the project came into existence and what its internals look like to get a better understanding. So how did Open Voice OS actually start? Open Voice OS actually started as a reference image based off a heavily modified and patched Microsoft stack on an embedded build root system for do-it-yourself Raspberry Pi-based smart speakers. Microsoft community developers got interested in supporting more platforms, architectures, and environments that Microsoft AI as a company was not in support of. Some of the top community com contributors to the Microsoft project figured it would be best to soft fork Microsoft and build a new ecosystem around it, which would not be under direct control of any organization and would be a community first project. Now, let's look into the internals of Open Voice OS and how this ecosystem Open Voice OS consists of a Python-based core framework called OVOS Core. The framework is responsible for providing distinct services. Some of the important services provided by this framework are the WebSocket message bus service, a skill service, an audio service, a speech and graphical user interface service. The first and most important backbone of this ecosystem is our WebSocket-based message bus service. The message bus service provides an unsynchronous communication layer between all our services. It is an event-based system where services can, event, can emit events along with data globally, and other services can choose to listen and react to these events by utilizing the data and also having the ability to respond back to the original service. Everything on the OWASP ecosystem utilizes message bus to talk to each other. The second, most, the second most important service provided by OSCore is our skill service. The skill service is the home to our mini voice interface application we call skills. It is also a house to our intent passers and provides a skill manager interface to manage the life cycle of our skills from initialization to shutdown. Let's see how the skill service works. A user initiates a voice query, which is magically translated to text by the speech service, which is then picked up by the skill service. The skill service on receiving the text input activates an intent parser, which is responsible for looking up the initialized skills table inside the skills manager to find the closest intent match. If the intent match is found in an initialized skill, the skill will output its response to our text-to-speech service. Simply, the skill service handles all communication and processes that take place between the speech-to-text input and text-to-speech output lifecycle within the OWASP framework. Now, let's look into the speech service and what it does. The speech service houses our wake word engine API and our speech to text engine API. It is responsible for everything within the speech input process. So how does it work? Our speech service, our speech service provides an always listening wake word engine that is responsible for activating our SDT API once it recognizes the registered wake word spoken by the user. On wake up, the speech service starts recording user input and forwards it to our selected SDT engine for transcription. On getting a successful transcription, the text is forwarded to our skill service, as we saw in the previous slide. The skill service will handle all operations from there. Moving on, let's look at the audio service. The audio service handles our text-to-speech engine API and is also home to our multimedia framework. It is responsible for everything in the audio output process. Now let's go to the audio output service. 
user initiates a query. Tell me a joke. The speed service forwards the transcribed text to our skill service where if it finds a match to our joke skills. The joke skills reaches out to an external API to formulate an audio response dialogue that is then forwarded to our audio service. The audio service converts the text to an audio clip and is selected by using the selected text to speech engine. The audio clip is then played back through the configured output that could be a speaker hardware device. Now let's look at the exciting GUI service. The OWASCore GUI service is an API for skills to be able to output information on screens. This API allows skills to show QML based pages with data for any particular query. The GUI service is responsible along with the skills displaying the data for lifecycle management of the skills display. Let's see how this service works. When skills have found a match to a user query and can output audio, the skills can also have the ability to display this output using the GUI service. The GUI output can also be used to display a failure if it is not found by the intent passers. We also have some external important frameworks and services that build up the OWASP stack. The first one is the Open Voice OS Shell, and the second is the Open Voice OS Common Play Multimedia Framework. Now let's look at both of these in detail. The Open Voice OS Shell is a Kirigami based application running on top of EGLFS for embedded devices. It is a graphical front-end viewer that incorporates the multi incorporates the micro of GUI protocol skill view inside the application, along with a few features such as drop-down menus for volume control, brightness control, and additional system settings. The shell utilizes a custom Kirigami platform theme plugin to provide our skills and user interfaces with global theme. The shell additionally integrates with KD Connect out of the box. It allows users to pair their smart speakers running this embedded shell with KD Connect and also control multimedia playback via Empress integration. Let's see a quick demo of what the Open Voice OS shell offers. Now let's look at some of the features the OWASH shell provides. As you can see in the video, we have a drop down menu that can be used to quickly access stuff like network and wireless settings. In the network and wireless settings page, you can easily change your current network settings or connect to a different network. As smart speaker displays are considered always on displays, Overshell provides quick access to night mode. The night mode can be activated by tapping on the left build button on the left edge of the screen. Overshell provides you with quick access to voice applications. Voice applications are a concept where skills provide a home screen. These skills let you directly interact with the skill information using only a touch screen when you don't want to use your voice. Overshell Shell provides another feature called Quick Access Dashboards. The Quick Access Dashboard can be activated by pressing on the right build button on the right edge of the screen. This dashboard provides a view of cards. These cards record your daily activities. Double tapping a card will activate the activity and more activities can be added to the dashboard. Overshell provides full rotation support for vertical orientation, horizontal orientation, flipped vertical orientation, and flipped horizontal orientation screens. This setting can easily be accessed from our drop down menu, and preferences will be always saved on reboot.
Overshell provides full support for global color schemes. The custom theme engine within Overshell is powered by Kirigami platform themes and cute quick control style. One can easily change the color scheme from the advanced customization menu. The theme engine by default supports dark and light color schemes and also allows one to easily create a new color scheme on the fly. All skills and user interfaces developed under Open Voice OS follow Kirigami theming. This also helps us ensure our skills are usable on all Plasma platforms. Overshell also provides a full shutdown menu. The shutdown menu lets you decide whether you want to restart only the Overwatch services, the entire shell, or the entire system. Now we've seen what our Overshell can do, let's look at our multimedia framework. Open Voice OS Common Play is a fully fledged voice media player framework handling voice integration and playback functionality for multimedia related skills. It is responsible for handling all media related queries such as play a song, play a video, stop the music, play the next track, and more. The framework can be extended by media providers and special OCP framework subclass skills. This framework uses fuzzy matching to find the best match to your media play request. Let's look at a short demo of the framework. Hey, Mycroft, play some Gorillaz. Hey, Mycroft, play the next song. Hey, Mycroft, stop. How is Open Voice OS Core different from Microf Core? So, Microf Core is based on a monolithic architecture. Due to its current architecture, it supports limited speech to text and text to speech engines as they are hard coded into the Microf Core API. Microf is also deeply tied into Microf AI's online Selene backend. This means devices will require pairing to be even remotely functional. Overscore, on the other hand, is based off a microservice plugin based architecture. At Open Voice OS, all our speech to text engines, text to speech engines, live outside of the core API. This allows us to be fully pluggable into any speech to text and text to speech engines available out there. Open Voice OS core framework is local by default. This means it's backend free and does not require an online backend to be fully functional. We optionally also provide compatibility to Microsoft Selene backend or give you the ability to host your own self personal backend service on your local network if you wish to run something off your device. Let's see what makes this pluggable infrastructure possible. Open Voice OS incorporates our plugin manager system, which can be used to search, install, load, and create plugins for the Open Voice OS ecosystem. Every external service or engine that lives outside OWASP Core is a plugin loaded by the plugin manager in the OWASP world. We support multiple types of plugins, fake word engine plugins, speech to text engine plugins, text to speech engine plugins, intent parser engine plugins, and hardware abstraction plugins. Now that we have explored the internals of the Open Voice OS, let's look at how we see Open Voice OS as a framework.
Open Voice OS, as it is structured into a pluggable infrastructure, allows us to incorporate OWASP into other projects by utilizing only a subset of the services to meet the project requirement. It, as a framework, for example, allows us to incorporate voice assistance technology into projects such as Plasma Big Screen. Developers can also connect native Qt applications and serve them as voice interfaces using the libq Microf library. Let's see a short demo of our framework running on a Plasma Big Screen image. Hey, Mycroft, what is the current weather? It's currently clear sky and 12 degrees Celsius. Today's forecast is for a high of 26 and a low of 10. So now we've seen a demo of big screen running Open Voice OS. Let's understand how we see Open Voice OS as the building blocks for an embedded system. We see Open Voice OS packages and shell as building blocks for an embedded platform where you can choose to run on bare metal without requiring things like a display and window manager. It is especially useful for device environments like smart speakers, voice satellites, and magic mirrors. Open Voice OS as an operating system stack utilizes a plugin-based hardware abstraction layer called BOWASPAL. It supports both user land and direct access to the underlying hardware. Some of the hardware abstractions you can find in this pluggable layer are support for different audio boards and mic array hardware. Screen and display management support for DSI and HDMI based displays. GPSD hardware support for location and positioning. Now let's look at a quick demo of our OWASP stack running on the Microsoft Mark II dev kit. Hey, Michael. What's the weather like? It's currently two skies and 17 degrees. Today's forecast is for a high of 20 and a low of 10. Hey, Michael. What date is it? Saturday, September 4th, 2021. Hey, Michael. What's the time? 11.38. Hey, Michael. Tell me about Elon Musk. I'm checking Wikipedia for Elon Musk. I want to read Musk's two lines. Born June 28, 1971, was an entrepreneur and business magnet. Hey, Michael, tell me more. He is the founder of Galileo and Chief Engineer of SpaceX. Early space investor, Galileo and Tesla architect of Space Airlines, founder of the Boring Company, and co founder of Neuralink and OpenAI. Hey, Michael, set a timer for two minutes. I started the timer for two minutes. Hey, Michael. Set another timer for five minutes. I started the timer down timer two for five minutes. Hey, Michael. Cancel all timers. Two timers have been canceled. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Play Danny Vera roller coaster audio only, please. Just one moment while I look for that.
Hey Michael, set volume to 80%. Volume updated to 80%. Hey Michael, set volume to 30%. Volume updated to 30%. Hey Michael, stop. At Open Voice OS, we are targeting all platforms for integration. From embedded headless devices, single board computers, to do it your own self smart speakers. We also are targeting projects providing TV, desktop, and mobile interfaces. Open Voice OS is the open community playground for all platforms to come and experiment at. You can try us out either incorporated or in a running system or standalone in multiple places. We have images available for the Raspberry Pi 4 boards with three speaker hardware to Microsoft Mark II dev kits. You can also find us on the Manjaro Plasma big screen image. Finally, before ending, Open Voice OS is a community powered project with contributors from various parts of the globe working in various industries. We have a bunch of set of lead dev maintainers for certain parts of our framework. But as a new project, we are constantly looking for increasing our member count and increase in contributions. If there are any features or integration or platforms you would like to support voice interfaces with, come join us. We are very active on our Matrix channel. You can find links to us on the next slide. Thank you. Do you find yourself using your open smart speaker as a daily driver on a regular basis? Yes. Do you want to elaborate? Do you want to elaborate yes. on like your daily workflow? Yes. So basically, uh, we use it on a re-speaker-based hardware uh, for our Raspberry Pi Raspberry Pi units, where we use it for weather updates and use it for activities. Activities is a special platform where you can program a set of acti activities that you would want your smart speaker to do, like stuff like turning off your lights, uh, home control, and also giving you information about uh, the next uh, bus update that's available locally. Uh, some of these services require online APIs, and uh, we have provided a proxy service for these, as well as we allow users to add their own proxy service for this. Thank you. Philip in the online chat asks, is the Mark I kit capable enough to run OVOS? Yes, it is. Uh, it won't run a graphical user interface, but you can use our images for Mark 1. We don't have images right now, but you can use our stack running on your Raspberry Pi uh, inside your Mark 1 devices. Um, just because I know someone is thinking it, uh, when am I getting my Mark 2? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not your so problem, we've heard but... That the pre -release, uh, we've heard, we've heard that Mark, Microsoft Mark II released uh, stuff on the 19th of September for early backers. Uh, we are hoping that the Mark II reaches people in October by the time everything ships. Yeah, sweet. <laughs> Any other questions? And you can replace the ROS with Open Voice OS. I don't see anyone else having questions from the in-person audience, nor the online one. Thank you very much. Thank you.